Electrolytes, the secret of life. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. I just kinda wanna do a little overview on electrolytes. It's something I've never talked about on this channel and it's something that I recently jumped into like taking electrolytes almost every day. And it's kind of grown to be one of the most eye-opening supplements that almost everybody should take. But a lot of people actually keep Pedialyte in their house, which is one of the most common electrolyte mixes just in case of any issues. But I've just been kind of more blown away as time goes on, just how important these are for every single thing in life. Some of the big to our potassium and magnesium and if those go to zero in your body you pretty much straight up have a heart attack one of the biggest causes of heart attack in my opinion could be avoided if just everybody's taking electrolytes I mean you can find them in certain natural situations like I'm pretty sure if you go to the beach and get into the water you will naturally absorb magnesium uh, potassium is found in like bananas potatoes other things like that so there is a chance that you're getting these but at the same time it's something that you always want to make sure it's in your body and they are actually pretty expensive like to get quality electrolytes especially if you were to go get pedialytes and stuff which are really expensive full of artificial colors i don't recommend doing that so i just wanted to pull up with some of the symptoms here so this is the symptoms of electrolyte imbalance so we have headaches fatigue confusion mood changes vomiting loss of appetite stomach pain, irregular heartbeat, numbness, constipation, frequent urination, dry mouth. Those are a lot of issues that you could have just from having electrolyte imbalance. Now, sometimes recently, I've just been feeling really just overrun. And I've, even though I've drinking water, I get outside and my I feel like my heart's just beating outside my chest and it's beating a little off, you know? And in those situations, the first thing I'm thinking of is getting some electrolytes to balance me up just in case something is off and my heart's just like, trying to make do with the little electrolytes that I have. So, so some of the benefits of electrolytes is it helps exercise performance. And if you're somebody who sweats a lot, it's you're working the heat or you work out a lot, you're somebody who needs more electrolytes than other people. Um, another quick go-to for electrolytes, I mean, if you're on the go, is either Pedialyte or coconut water. Both those should have some. If you're in a bind, you're a little bit worried, maybe like you see this video and you start feeling a little sick in the future, a little off. Coconut water, Pedialyte should be good. I recommend getting the clear Pedialyte or the Pedialyte without the artificial colors, but that's just me personally. Let's just jump into it. Enhances exercise performance, promotes better sleep, which is weird. I don't know how it helps sleep, but it does. Strengthens immunity, improves cognition, reduces stress and anxiety, stabilizes blood sugar. Now I found that was crazy. Uh, one of my friends just got diagnosed with diabetes, so it's, I'm definitely gonna be suggesting potassium to him or bananas and potatoes, because those have natural sources of potassium as well. Supports heart health. Well, of course they support heart health because if you don't have them, you'll pretty much have a heart attack. So uh, for some good examples of this is Markiplier. I don't know if you've seen Markiplier. He's really famous on YouTube. He has apparently had three alcoholic beverages, was already low on magnesium, and pretty much had a heart attack. How so much had you drank that? Three beers. It drained my magnesium, so heart needs magnesium to pump. We even had somebody at my work where somebody called the police on him, and we saw him a couple months later, and he said he had low potassium. He just passed out. So, so definitely supports heart health. I definitely recommend keeping this around, especially if you know somebody who sweats a lot or works in the heat. You know, this is just definitely going to keep them healthy. Strengthen muscles and bones like that's crazy i didn't think it was going to do that improves digestion i didn't think it was going to do that now one of the original reasons i started taking electrolytes was magnesium specifically it helps with digestion it makes digestion a little bit quicker um, potassium kind of stimulates i think muscle contraction so that's like your stomach moving pushing things along and then magnesium increases water into the bowels so if you put a lot of water into the bowels, things are just gonna flow out a lot easier. So it, it does have like a digestive speed up effect, but I think most people like probably have maybe 10, 15 extra meals in their stomach. So this is probably a good thing and almost nobody fasts anyways, so. May prevent kidney stones. Well, that's crazy. I might have to give this to my friend too because my friend who has the diabetes also has kidney stones in his family. So I'm gonna have to give him this. So uh, prevents kidney stones, treats headaches, uh, yeah, I could kind of see that because you'll be dehydrated and your body's an electrical being. So these are kind of uh, things that help the electrical current, I would think. So it makes sense. If you want calcium, calcium, you should eat leafy greens, almonds, sardines, yogurt, kefir, raw milk, cheese. For sodium, I mean, everybody gets enough sodium if it's the good kind, but pickles, olives, cottage cheese, chloride, go to tomatoes, celery, olives, and seaweed. 
phosphorus, nuts, ligaments, seeds, dairy, poultry, fish, beef, magnesium, nuts, seeds, dark chocolate, avocado, beans, potassium, spinach, beans, lentils, beans again, sweet potatoes, and bananas. So I didn't know that spinach and beans also. So anyways, guys, I just kind of want to do a basic video on electrolytes. There's something I take every day. Uh, one of the main brands I take is something called Keto K. I'll put it down below. A lot of the electrolyte mixes that you can get in stores, all of them have sugar and even coconut water has sugar. The main one I take is Keto K. Huge dose of potassium, about a gram. Most of the other ones is only 250 milligrams. A good dosage of a lot of stuff and then it has 100 milligrams of this advanced mineral complex so if you're in an emergency situation something's not right with somebody in their heart they've been sweating a lot i would definitely go get some pedialyte or coconut water just around just in case somebody's having some issues because these things go to zero you could have a heart attack and our lives are so crazy it's been so hot lately i mean it's very easy to kind of forget these things so anyways guys I just wanted to do a quick video on electrolytes i love them i take them almost every day and if i I ever feel like I have an irregular heartbeat or just something's off with just my body in general that's one of the first things I go to so highly recommended please check it out so anyways guys we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys help you guys are the best I'm having a great day out here hopefully having a great day at home see you all in the next video peace